everybody. This is Kathy Crowder's Mountain in North Carolina. I hope you can hear me okay. I'm trying to film in a different location in my basement here that I think may work better. I'm not sure. But anyway, look what we have. In that book I tell you guys about that's got uh, over 5,000 patterns in it. I found this one called Harvest Star and I really wanted to paint that especially this time of year. Now I know the picture doesn't look that great but um, it's just the way it printed out but it's number 4325 in that book um, and it's called Harvest Star if you have that same book and here she is. Now, I may do something a little bit different with this one. Um, I, I'm going to show you the pattern. And I think I do have some footage of how I taped it up. And I'll make that one probably on another video, like a part two, like I did in the past. Because this one may take a little bit. It, it's not hard. It just might take me a little bit to explain it to you but I love it I really like it just the way it is but something bothers me about about these uh, the you know I get it's a sun it's a harvest sun so it's sunbeams and it's not a flower so if I put something in here, is it going to turn out looking like a flower? But I almost want to put some more of these la this last section of diamonds. I almost want to put that in here to kind of fill up some of this space. But I really... I don't know. You guys, leave me a comment in, below. I'm not going to do it now in, in this particular video. But I may come back along later and put that in there. But you guys tell me what you think. You see what I'm saying? See these diamonds here? I, I want to put another diamond here. So this part would be the same color. So the diamond would be up, be shaped like that, and it would fill in those gaps. I don't know. I don't know. But that still bothers me. There's so much space there. But if it's a sun, and this is somebody else's pattern that took a long time to work on, so. It, it's in that book, and this is the way it is in there. Maybe I should just leave it. But anyway, I can work on it because remember, this is the one. I think I showed it to you before. This is the one that's got the big gaps. I imagine that, uh, uh, what do you call those things that lift stuff up? Forklift. I imagine a forklift got it or it happened in the factory one, I'm not sure, but I can't, you know, I can't gift it um, to anybody because of that, so it's just going to stay here. All right, let me get my stuff together and let's just do this pattern. Okay, so what I'm going to do is use my 24 inch ruler I'm going to use my one inch, one foot ruler, and then I've got this arc that we're going to need to mark our points, and then I'm going to do it with these Sharpies. And remember, I'm, I'm drawing it onto paper, and you won't be doing that, so your lines will be a whole lot thinner, and hopefully you're using the heat erasable pens or whatever your favorite marking tool is. And I'm looking up at that camera and I'm wondering if it's crooked. Oh. It's 
Let's try that. <laughs> All right. So the first thing we want to do, this is going to have a two inch border. So we just want to mark off our two inches and the rest of it is going to be uh, points. So you won't have to worry about drawing a grid on this one. So it's a two inch border. And I've, I've got my paper uh, taped down on the corners. So all I'm doing is marking that two inches on my border. Right, now we're just going to connect it and we'll be through with that border. And I'm going to draw them all the way from end to end. So I'll show you something. I'm drawing it end to the end because if you've remembered seeing our pattern or our finished product, if you remembered seeing it, these were painted a different color, the corner blocks. So I drew it all the way from end to the end so that you already have your blocks drawn. All right, now, now what we have to do is just find the center. You know, you always need to find the center of your board. Uh, I don't know of another of a pattern that you wouldn't do that because if you don't, you could end up with your sun over this way. And it, I've seen people do that and it just, you know, it upsets them when that happens, when you've got it all centered. And I can understand. Okay. We're going to find the center. Now, I'm going to draw that center in a lighter color because we really won't be using it that much. We will, but not all the way out to the ends. Going to draw our, I'm going to just break that line. So you'll know it's just a guideline for us. It'll become, some of it will become a part of the pattern, but. Sorry, got to turn the phone on silent. Okay, now we've got, we've got our center right there. That's what we're right after. All 
All right, now our next step. We found the center. Now, the star in the middle, I could explain it better showing it to you. See, that's our blocks that I was talking about. Now, the star in the middle, right here, is what we're going to uh, work on. But we're actually going to be drawing these lines here as well. So, those, that's the 12 point. I'm saying the star, but it's the sun. Because, see the round circle? Now, that round circle is like two inches. So, remember that. And these points here are nine inches from one to the other. And this one up to here is nine inches. So we're gonna go all the way around nine inches and this is 12 points here and 12 points here. And that is so that all of our points are evenly distributed because you'll have a star that looks like it's melting if you don't get them just right. So, we've got zero. We need to put it on 30 and 60. And there's 90. 60. 30. Zero. 30, 60, 90, 60, 30, and zero. All right, now that, those points are these, see? So each one, when you just think about it, it's, it's divided in the in the four sections, if you want to look at it that way. See that? There's a section. Here's a section. There's a section. And here. So think about it like that, if you want to kind of get it into your head. Right, and so that's what we did. We found those points here. These points here. So don't let me confuse you. That's the points that we were finding. All right. Now those lines need to be nine inches long. So... You just find the one that find the one that's uh, parallel to it, and it crosses into the center. It has to do that. So to get mine, they're not nine inches long. They're t no wait. Yep, yeah, they're nine inches long. So we're not drawing, we're not drawing now from the dot to the dot, or tick mark to tick mark. We're not doing that. We need them nine inches long. I've got, I've got it centered up here, and I, I need them nine inches. So it's going to be. Four and a half, so it'll be from six down to ten and a half. That's four and a half here, and all the way down to two and a half. So I'm going to go ahead and mark at ten and a half. That's why my rulers get so messed up, but I don't care. All right, you see that? All right, now let's find the other one that matches up. And we're gonna put we're gonna put our, uh, the six right in here. 
in the center on six. And we're going from ten and a half to two and a half. Let's do it again. It's just a little measuring here and there, but you can do it. Six. All right, now, now we need to do these two. And I said part of it becomes part of the pattern, but mostly it's just a guideline. Get them all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We got them all. All right. Now, if you had a smaller arc, your lines may not have been so, your tick marks may not have been so far out, but that, that's fine. We're good. Okay. Now, we need... We need to draw our longer lines, and they're going to be 19 inches. So we've got to go back, and I'm going to use another color. My camera is still not set up exactly right, the way I want it, but... I'm working on that. <laughs> okay. Let's draw those long lines. Okay, so now, you see these tick marks that we made with the arc? So now we need to find the center of each one of those. So, I'm putting my arc back here. I'm calling this an arc. I'm not sure what other people call it, but and so our center, so we got zero to thirty, so our center is going to be fifteen, and it's it's in five increments, increments of five, five, ten, fifteen. So we're just going to put it on the fifteen, five, ten, fifteen, five, ten, fifteen. So we need three in each section. We need three tick marks. We're finding the center of each one of these marks. You see that? Now that's the blue marks. And those lines need to be 19 inches long. So I have to get out the 24 inch ruler and I'm going to line it up with the one that's parallel to it crossing the center. And if it needs to be 19, half a 19. It's nine and a half, so I'm going to put, I'm going to put that on 12. Might be easier. All right, so we got it lined up. <clears throat> so each one has to be nine and a half. So I'm going to make this at 21 and a half. I'm going to mark that. So 21 and a half. And 
three and a half. Kind of make sure I keep that on that 12. Do that in blue so you can see it better. Make sure we're all right. We're right. So it's three and a half and twenty-one and a half. And I'm putting putting it on twelve. Let's find some more. It's gonna be parallel. Line it up on twelve and draw it. Three and a half to twenty one and a half. Like I said earlier, your lines are not going to be as fat <laughs> as mine are because I'm using Sharpies so that you can see them. Another thing is, if you print these out, like if you have a, a printer hooked to your phone, or even if you email, you take a snapshot of it and email it to yourself and you've got a printer, if you print it out, even if it's a small page, and you print it out in color, you will see the sections done in color. So I think we've got that. Nope. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, left, twelve. So we got twelve lines there. Okay. Gotta make some more tick marks. And then we're just going to start drawing it out. Now on your 9 inch lines, that's the red ones, we got 12 of them. We need to take our ruler and So we, we got nine inches, right? So we need to have at two and a fourth on each end. All right, so, so I got my, make sure I can explain it. See this red line? I got my ruler. It's nine inches. So it's right, it's on four and a half, right in the middle. But I need a tick mark at two and a fourth. Right here. One, two. So it'd be seven and a fourth. Right here. And it would be two and a fourth. Right here. On each one of those red lines. Each one of those red lines on each end, I should have said that, 
on each on each end of the red line we need to have a tick mark at two and a fourth and this would be seven and a fourth one so just put your ruler right up you're gonna have zero and nine over here but that'll make four and a half right in the middle and we're just staying two and a fourth and seven and a fourth that's where our tick mark needs to be now on our blue ones we need you know we had it at these are at 18. So we need right. We just made this point right here. That's what we did. This point. So we need to draw our sun has got to go from this point to this point. So these were 18, right? Nineteen. They were nineteen inches. So from the center. We need nine. So we're going to go four and a half this way and four and a half this way. So we're putting our mark again, we're putting our roller. going to make a tick mark. I put the ruler at four and a half. So I'm making a tick mark at zero and nine. And I'm going to do that. Putting the four and a half. I'm doing it on all the blue lines which are 19 inches long. Zero and nine. Some of these other tick marks here on the pattern, you can get rid of them as you're drawing so that you won't get mixed up. But I can't because I'm dealing in a sharpie. Okay. See, that's almost getting mixed up, wasn't I? This one. Putting it on four and a half. And marking it at zero and nine. All right, now. Now what we can do is start connecting all these together. And I'm going to do it in black. So that you can see it better. All right. So you see the one that we just made that was nine. We put it on zero and nine. At the top of that one, we're going to come down to the one that we made it at two and a fourth. See, and we're going to do it again here. We're going to go up at the one that we made. We put it on nine, and we're going to go to the one at two and a fourth. 
That's the one that we made on nine. Going to two and a fourth. From nine to the two and a fourth mark. And we're going all the way around doing that. And because of my fat sharpies, I can't get right onto that line with my tick marks, but I'm trying to line them up better as I'm drawing for you. There you go. Now guess what we just did? We drew this sun. Now, you see how it's dark, light, dark, light, dark, light? That's what we did too. See these blue lines? That's the 19 inch line separated this for us. So we're going to have dark light, dark light, dark light. See that? Alright, now I'll try to get another color here. I'll do that in purple. I think it'll show up. Okay. The next set of that we need to do, that was our first layer of points. We're going to do let's see, let's, we'll go ahead and do the second set. Alright, now we're going to make the second we're going to make our second layer of points. And I'm going to try to use the purple for that. But here's the way I figured out how to do it. You see from the end of that star to the end of this point. I'm calling it a star. <laughs> from the end of that point to the end of this line is five inches. So I made an attempt mark at two and a half on every one of those. And then I'll show you what else I did. So I'm doing that in purple, hoping that Once you get all your tick marks made, and there may be a, a different way to do this, but I tried to figure it out, and to me this was just about the easiest way. Alright. Okay, so now we got at two and a half, we got every one of those made. So the way that I made the second set, all right, and I'll show you. All right, so we just made the right in here. 
we made a tick mark. And now I'm going to put my ruler across and make a two inch mark. See? And then I'm going to make a two inch mark across here. So here's where we made our tick marks. So let me show you. Look at this one. We made that tick mark here. Now I'm gonna take my ruler and put it on one. And I'm gonna go over here to my phantom line here and just try to make sure I've got it even, level. And I'm just making a two inch mark. So I'm gonna go to this one. I'm putting it on one. And if you want to know how to make it level as you can, just make sure it lines up down here on one of these lines. And that way it'll get it straight. So I'm just lining it up on one of these lines down here. And making a two inch mark. I'm going to do that all the way around. But let me show you what we're doing. We have to go from this line down to the point of that star. And from this one to the point. Alright. Now that looked kind of weird. But what we did, we just drew this. But remember our red lines? We're, we're going from that line that we made. I'll do it over here. We're doing it from that line that we made to the red line. See that? But, but see how I did this line? Now, I'll explain that a little bit different in a minute. All right. Try to explain it in different ways. <laughs> All right, now see that point? I'll explain it in another way, and hopefully at some point, you'll catch what I'm trying to say. All right. So we just drew these two, see, and that one. Now these are just guidelines for us. We're not going to be painting on them. All right, so we drew these two. Let's go all the way around and do them first, and then come back and connect these. Because that's actually your third layer, or your third set of points. All right, so let's do this again, and all the way around. I'm trying to line it up so it's straight as it can be, and I'm drawing two inches. I'm putting on one, and I'm drawing two inches on every one of those 19 inch lines. I thought I'd do that right quick, kind of show you what we're doing, because it might make more sense this way. So you know where we're going with all these lines. And there may be now, I'm telling you, there could be another way. And you stare at it long enough and look at it long enough and you might can figure out another way to draw this. Um, but without measuring 
like from here to here to here to here to here to here, I, I that would get me more confused. So I just had to figure out how to do it this way. All right, so we've got all of our lines going all around here, right? And that's this line here. So we're going to take this point and draw it to there. I'm making sure I'm doing it right. Yep. From here to here. So we created that, right? Let's go all the way around doing that. I start on two or three things at one time, that's going to be even more confusing. So we're going to go all the way around, connecting these points. It sure don't look like a sun right now, does it? But it is. It's going to be... See this one? There's your red line, and we're going to go up to the end of that. So just get to the red line, and go up to the end of there, our two-inch mark. Now let me show you what we're drawing. See, we went across here on every one of them. And we went from here to here. Now this is where our red line was at, our nine inch line, and we're going from that point to the end. And we're drawing our second set of points here. Now see they're dark light, dark light. And that's the way this will be. Dark light, dark light. So all we're doing is going to our red line. Y'all can do this. I promise you can. If I can look at it and figure it out, y'all can, can do it too. And I just hope I have explained it in a way that you could understand it. See, and all we're doing is going from the uh, end of our two inch mark down to the nine inch line. I keep calling it the red line, but the nine inch line. So that's it. Yep. Now, see that point? And remember, these are just guidelines. All we have to do is connect those. Remember, that's the 19 inch line. So the end of that line to the end of our two inch mark.
Bella, I'm sorry. I almost stepped on my baby. I almost stepped on that baby. And there you go. Now you see. Put this up here. All right. So here is our first layer of points. And they're already divided in half. Here's our second layer. See? And then here's our third. Alright. Now. Take a screenshot of that while I go get a couple of different markers and I can mark that I'll mark one point off for you. Okay. Got the screenshot. Okay, so there. Um, in the middle. Now, now wait a minute. I, I got to make that circle for you, too. So don't forget that. So it's dark on this side. And I got to get another marker. And it's light on this side. And I'll tell you what colors I used. Hang on a minute. All right. Then it will be dark here. I'm not sure this is in the light here because you got dark light, so you want light dark. And you know these are not the right colors. All right, then this whole entire thing is solid. Remember I said the lines, the lines in here were just guidelines, that's all they were. Okay, now here's how I made my circle in the middle. You see this? It makes it look like a sun. You could leave it, but it's not going to come out exactly looking like a sun if you don't put that circle. Well. It's a two-inch circle, so if you've got a compass or something like that, you could just use it. And I couldn't find mine. So I started looking for something that would work. And I found one of my bottles was just the perfect size. So I'm, I just put it in the middle and I drew it around that way. Now see there's my circle. It's not <laughs> you can even yours up. You you center yours better than I did. But anyway, that's a low laid VFA bottle. Lowlaidvfa.com 
L-O-L-I-V-E-F-E dot com. Okay. Now, I used a little bit different color of yellow in here. But here it is. Here's your harvest sun. And you see how I thought about putting another diamond right here? I don't know. You can try it if you want to. But I'm just afraid it will turn out looking like a flower. Um, I thought about making these wider. But then it will make these weird looking. So I didn't do that. I'm just going to leave it the way the person designed it. That, that designed it. And we're going to call it a harvest star because that's what it is okay thank you for joining me and I hope you subscribe and I hope that this camera angle and place that I set up at is gonna work okay and I th should have thrown out this southern biscuit when I started but I had more dental surgery and it, this, it just swelled. Uh, all of it's just swelled up and it's not gone down yet. And so I apologize if you couldn't understand something that I was saying. Um, just leave me a comment below if you didn't understand it and I can type. <laughs> it's, it's my mouth, not my fingers, so... Anyway, I'll I'll let you uh, I'll answer any of your questions in the comments. So just ask me anything that you didn't understand, and we'll go from there. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Okay, here are the colors. Now the blue background. I used indigo cloth. All of these are Valspar semi gloss exterior. So the blue was indigo cloth. This color at the, our third point, third layer of points, is caramel cream. And this color is a flaming torch and I put a tiny, this is the flaming torch, and I put a tiny drop of polished ivory in it just to lighten it up just a little bit because I needed a dark and light and I didn't want it to clash with each other. So I just put a little bit of that in with my flaming torch to get those colors. And so for the center here, I used pumpkin butter. I know it looks like yellow, but it's pumpkin butter, and I put a little bit of the polished ivory in it to lighten it up. And so that pumpkin butter and with a little bit of polished ivory in it to lighten it up. For the middle here, you know, I told you I used a different color. I did. I used golden chime. But you you wouldn't have to do that if you didn't want to. If you've got a favorite yellow that's a little bit dark, just lighten it up. And you could lighten it up or darken it just a little bit more for the center. So let me see if I can get you down closer to that. You can kind of tell it's a little bit different color. That's the golden chime. Okay. That's the colors. Oh, and I, uh, over here, I used, I used that lighter color here. I mixed up enough. Now, if you're going to mix, be sure to mix enough. You'd rather have too much than not enough. But, for this lighter color, I did it at the top and the bottom. Let me get you back up there where you can see what I'm talking about. 
Okay, there you go. So the lighter color here, I used at the top and the bottom. And then I used my darker color, which was the pumpkin butter. I used it over here. And I just, I love these colors. They, to me, they just look like, they just look like fall to me. Okay, there you go.